Hello there. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how to change the default theme of your ABP application. We will add the basic theme as a module and then change the basic theme to suit your needs. Um, once this is the final output, um, so we will have a theme change for the default uh, layout and also we will change the account layout we are going to use um this material kit 2 material kit 2 is a free and open source bootstrap for based uh, template uh, in this uh, we are going to pick the sign in section uh, and try to recreate this signing section uh, for our ABP application. Um, because most of the time uh, when I deploy the identity server and then come to the application um, using the um, React app or Angular app, I end up in this login page and then my application page will look totally different from the identity server page. So um, I thought this would be a good example to show how to change the theme, how to redesign the login page. Um, yeah, and um, get it working with your own theme. Okay, let's get it started. To follow along, I have created the blog post. Um, you can also follow the blog post to know more about how to change the theme. Uh, the first step is to uh, create an application. So we will uh, create a new ABP application. Um, I have mentioned the version so that it uses a cache. Once it is done, we can actually open the application in the Visual Studio. First thing is we will um, change the application to uh, theme change. This will, um, sorry, uh, change the application to DB migrator to run the DB migration. This will run the migration for us and also set up the database, everything. Our migration is running. See, um, it's starting to create the migrations and see the data for us. Perfect. Now it's done. We can run the basic application. Okay, so our big basic application is running. Everything works fine. Let's log out and then see, okay, everything works fine. Um, we can close the app now and see the solution folder. Uh, here we have a normal solution um, structure. Uh, to this, we are going to add our basic theme as a module. So to do that, you can come back and also you can also go back to the blog post. Here is the, um, here is the command to add a basic theme. So what we are doing here is uh, we are mentioning add, um, add module command. This is a default command comes from the ABP CLI. This is the name of the 
uh, module. Um, ABP team has provided this uh, basic theme as a module and we can actually download the source code with this uh, uh, with this um, property or, or if you mention with source code it will uh, take the source code from the uh, git repository and then add it to your uh, local repository and this command will actually um, this flag uh, will actually add to the solution so you don't have to manually add the uh, thing to your solution it will automatically add it for you so let's um, go and do that cancel it first copy it and add. make sure you run this in the root of the um, application so where your solution is uh, available and so it actually takes the basic theme and then it will download the theme from the github repository and also do the necessary things so if you come back your visual studio will ask you to reload reload your visual studio now we have a few um projects added to the module so we have a basic theme for server for web and web assembly actually we don't need these three applications uh, we can actually delete them save it we only care about this guy abp um aspinet core mbc so we will have our theme here, the basic, and then the layouts are available here and the components are available here. So these are the things we care about. The only thing we are going to do is uh, we are going to change the account layout. Uh, we will leave the application layout alone. And also we will add the bundling. So first thing is to remove the current bootstrap theme. To remove the current bootstrap theme, you have to come and then uh, remove the um, uh, theme the CSS bootstrap CSS here. So this is the basic theme global style contrib. So this is where the um, styles are added. So here you see they're adding the layout CSS. Uh, we don't have to do anything with the layout CSS. We are actually removing um, the bootstrap CSS. So we will copy that and then add it. So uh, if you look at it, uh, we are removing the file which is located in lib uh, bootstrap CSS. So where does this file located? It's actually located in your uh, web project. If you open the web project, go to www root lib bootstrap CSS. So here is your uh, bootstrap CSS. So basically we are saying the bundler, hey, just ignore this file. We told the bundler to ignore this file, but we have to replace this with some other file. That is where our um, material kit theme comes in. So if you go to the assets folder, CSS and material kit min.css, you have to download this and you have to apply it to your um, to your um, WW root. So we will create a new directory called styles and we will download and add it. So I have already downloaded the file. So I will go to my desktop, copy that and open my visual studio and paste it here. So I have my Material kit available here. Now, where do I add this? You have to go to the team change module, uh, team change web module file. So this is the uh, web module of our web application. Um, and here we will have a configure bundle section. Yeah, here we can add file. So, um, if you go to the blog post, I have provided the code for that. So you can come back 
added here. So we have removed the bootstrap, added it with our own minified bootstrap. Now let's see what happens now. Okay, you can see the theme has changed. It's not a default theme anymore. You can come and click login, switch. So everything works. We don't have to worry about it. Perfect. Now it's time to change the account layout. The account layout, as I mentioned, is available here in the um, in the Teams uh, project. We will open it, and then I have already modified the um, layout. We'll copy that and then paste it here. Um, this um, account is coming from here. Uh, this uh, this um, styles are coming from this page. What I have actually done is I have actually removed this section, this section, and practically this section. And I have actually removed this section with the render body. Uh, that is what um, the copied uh, HTML from my blog post is all about. So if you copy this uh, HTML, that is what you will get. Um, so once you've done that, you can now run your application. You will see nothing has changed in the main layout, but if you go to the login layout, okay, because since we didn't change the module, it's still coming in from the What we have to do is first remove the um, package reference and then add the project as a reference here. Perfect. And now, instead of uh, using the package, it will use the project here. Now let's run it again. And you will see that the theme has changed. So let's go to login. Yeah, so now we have a changed theme. We can still do this tenant switch. Uh, the login and the registration still works. Uh, we can also go and try to log in. Login also works, the main uh, template works. So you can actually go and customize the way you want things. Um, right now, we just customize the um, main uh, account layout, but uh, if you go and then check out the components, almost all the components are uh, 
small, small uh, components. So if you change the um, classes here based on the bootstrap, uh, um, based on the um, material kit, you can actually customize the entire team uh, based on your requirements. Uh, the material team also has a few good uh, sections where you can actually just copy the code and then um, do whatever you want. Mm. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much uh, for this video. Um, if you have any questions, um, you can comment on the video. I will try to answer them for you. That's pretty much for me. Um, yeah, see you in another video. Bye-bye.